Hi everyone, it's Tracy here and we're back for another day of tutorials. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching The Green Man yesterday, one of my favourites. And today we're going to be using Una and Meadow Mushrooms. Keep your eyes peeled this week, we're going to be doing some offers on some of the products. So other than that, sit back and enjoy. Thanks guys. So for uh, today's demo, I'm going to be using the Distress Oxides. I'm going to be using uh, Peacock Feathers and Blueprint Sketch. I'm going to bray these onto our background. Um, so I'm going to start with the Peacock Feathers. Um, just ink up. I'm going to take the first lot off just so I get an even um, finish and this way you won't get as many lines and work my way up the card and then just repeat that process until you get the depth that you uh, that you want so again just going to work my way up the card like so and we'll do another one I just thought it'd be nice to stick to um, a blue theme for this card so a uh, blueprint sketch And again take a little off and then over the top we're going to work our way up again like so okay And we're going to take some blues uh, from the Versafine Claire range to work with, keeping it, as I say, a, a blue theme. And then let's have a look. The stumps we've got. We'll start with our mushroom stump. Um, I am going to use black for this one. This is going to be our focal point. So just ink up. Make sure that area is covered. Just check it. And then I'm going to just bob that down in the middle. Okay, let it rest a while. let the ink just absorb into the card there we go and then we'll take our fairy and we will pop her on top of the mushroom they work so well together these two Again, just check that she's covered. If you hold it into a certain light, you can just see where you may have missed. So just top her up. Okay, and then we're going to pop her down over the top like so. Again, just let her rest for a while. Because it's um, because they're silhouette stamps, um, 
they need I mean the Versafine is fantastic for silhouette stamps because it's an oil based ink it gives us a lovely solid uh, image but it's always good just to let any silhouette rest for a while on your card in failing that you know if you take the image off and it's not quite stamped right don't give up just use a brush and just fill in that area you know we've all done that so keep working with it just don't give up on it okay so let's have a look we're going to be using some flowers as well now I'm going to start stamping in a few different colours this time I'm going to stamp up in the warm breeze I use different colours um, it's a good way of layering it's a good way of giving depth uh, you always want your focal point to be in black uh, for me personally it just makes it pop it makes it stand out um, and that's why I use colours different colours around the focal point it doesn't take your eye away then I'm just going to pop a few of those around. Like so. And we need a little bit of foliage at the top here as well so let's have a look what colour we can use it's quite a dark one this um, it's good to test your colours first um, just on a scrap piece of paper before applying them um, to the card because the last thing you want to do is to make the mistake on the card so just try it now I'm going to take that first impression off because it is dark and now that's a perfect depth of colour without again taking your eye away Okay, so at the moment uh, the mushroom's floating so I'm going to tear a little bit of paper and just blend over the edge just to ground that so I'm going to use the Twilight Versafine again now I only need a little bit it's just to give that illusion just to just to ground her that's all we need and now some words words are always nice to go around the edge of the card it kind of gives it a distressed look make sure they're the right way up I'm sure we've all done that before okay so what have we got here we've got bluebell so let's try this colour now again I'm just going to try it on a scrap piece of card yeah, second impression again because we don't want it to stand out we want it to be in the background ok 
There we go. Okay, so I think we're going to use. Um, let's have a let's have a moon. Let's um, highlight her. So this is just a piece of acetate now that I've cut out. We're going to pop that over the top, which fits her perfectly. And then we're going to use a smoothie and picking a blue again, I think we will go with, what should we go with? Um, maybe we'll do the blue bell again actually. Now just take that off, it's best to start with less and then you can just build your colour up. You can add more but it's very difficult to take off so just bear that in mind when you're using this, this technique. Just work your way around the edge. Very gently. If you move it like I've just moved it, just line it back up again, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, now you see how that really pulls the image through now. Okay, so I'm going to now just put some water in the flowers. Because this is an oil based ink, it means I can put water over the top and it won't smudge my image underneath. So, and because it's oxides underneath, we can bleach the colour out. Hard to explain, so if you just watch. It's just a great technique um, that gives you more depth again. Just going to heat that up a little bit just to quicken the process. And you can see already, hopefully, that it's taking that colour out. I hope you can see that under the camera there, how much colour that's bleached out now, giving you a really nice effect. Okay, so I still feel that there's more needs to be done down here, so taking my fan brush, I'm just going to splash a little water over the top. just gives it a great texture. Okay, so heat that up again and you can see already the colour just lifting out of there. That's fab. That looks great. Okay, so I'm going to go around the edge of the card now using a colour, a deep colour. We'll go back to twilight now. Just bring in a little bit of the depth and this pulls your eye into the centre. Okay, I might even go for something a little bit deeper again. This is the medieval blue. I'm going to use that at the top here. It's 
quite a purple blue but it gives a really nice tone actually. There we go. Okay, so uh, we will use, let's use our uh, jelly roll. This is our um, clear sparkle pen. I'm going to highlight the wings. Again, I hope you can see this on camera. And then I'm going to go around the edge here. Of the moon. Okay, and then around our flowers, just pulling out a little bit of the detail there. Just these little things make such a big difference. Okay, so I'm going to use some glitter as well now. So using the glue pen, I'm just going to dot a little around the fairy. I don't want too much. but it just gives a little bit of magic to the whole thing. Okay, so just sprinkle that over. What a great colour, green and blue together. There we have it. I hope you can see that under the camera there. But doesn't it look fab in um, just sort of blues? I mean, you could try that with different colours, but it just gives it a really nice hue. Um, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration and um, I'll see you again soon guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.